Hi everyone, hope you're all having a great day. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about gluten and how gluten can really affect your overall well-being and your overall happiness. I am 100% convinced that gluten is poison to the body and that it just, it causes a lot of health problems that people don't need to struggle with if they simply eliminate it from their diet. I can say whenever I eat gluten, I start to feel more anxious, I start to get sad for no reason, um, I start to feel very droggy and foggy and just no motivation. I wake up in the morning with a struggle even though I get seven or eight hours of sleep. So a few days ago I decided to start a completely gluten-free and dairy-free diet. Now I've always been following this regimen but I really wanted to get strict with uh, having absolutely no traces of gluten at all. It's been three days today and I feel completely different. The reason why I want to do this test is because my hormones and my menstrual cycle has been very difficult since I was in high school. It's, I've been having very heavy periods, I've been having, they've been very long, and it's just, it's a real struggle for me uh, at the, that time of the month. Doctors have tried to put me on different birth control pills, uh, I've tried the Depo-Provera shot and I ended up bleeding for three months instead of it completely stopping your period. The, the gynecologist told me to try the IUD. I really don't want any of those artificial uh, chemicals in my body, so I, I want to try the gluten-free and dairy-free regimen and see if it affects my hormones. Gluten causes a lot of problems and even just the last few days I feel like I can think clearer, my skin feels healthier, my, I'm sleeping a lot better, I'm waking up in the morning refreshed and I'm not feeling as stuck. My bowel movements are completely normal and healthy and it's just it's amazing what gluten can really do to a person's body if you are intolerant or even if you are allergic to it. Research now confirms that gluten is linked to anxiety and depression. Gluten has also been proven to cause brain fog. When you feel disconnected or out of it for no reason, again, look at your diet, see if you're, if you're eating gluten, or see what you put in your food just a few hours before feeling this way. So the brain fog has been researched and specifically in the 2002 study in the Journal of Neurology, uh, Neurosurgery and Psychiatry found that there may be significant cross-reactivity of IgG antibodies to gluten and other different antibodies that could result in mental fogginess. Migraine headaches are also associated with gluten intolerance or gluten sensitivity. Uh, so many people complain about migraines and headaches and severe migraines. I know someone very close to me who suffers this quite regularly and I'm trying to get her to try a completely gluten-free diet. When you're eating gluten or you're eating something your body isn't meant to digest, inflammation starts to happen and there could be some nerves that are being pressed against because of the inflammation happening in the body which causes these headaches and this pressure and some people they experience tingling in their face, they experience tingling in their head and their neck. Skin problems have also been linked to gluten. Extreme fatigue it can be another symptom of gluten intolerance or gluten sensitivity when you're just feeling tired all the time even though you're doing everything else right in your life. But today is day three of my complete gluten-free and dairy-free lifestyle. I continue sharing with you some of the things that I'm experiencing and any improvements in my overall well-being. A lot of people think that going gluten-free is very difficult but it's actually not. Nowadays there are so many great gluten-free products out there that you can replace. Gluten is mostly found in breads, in pastas, in some crackers, some cakes. So what you want to do is you want to replace gluten-free breads with the gluten-free and dairy-free vegan breads if possible. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on my 30-day gluten-free journey and let's see what kind of uh, results happen. If you've tried a gluten-free 
regimen and a gluten-free lifestyle. Let me know how you feel. Let me know if you feel any different in your overall health and your overall well-being. Leave your comments in the comments below. If you have any questions about how to start going gluten-free or whether to see if gluten is affecting your own body, just leave your questions down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!